It's your girl Colors and here I am with another video with none other than my baby girl, Noelle. Today's video is going to be all about this precious girl of mine. She is six months, actually six and a half months now. So I thought it was definitely overdue to give you guys some updates. I really wanted to do a five month update but ever since she turned six months, it's kind of been like so much has changed. So if you want to hear a lot of the changes and the development of how this baby girl is doing, just keep on watching. Now, I really, 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 really do miss doing these little updates because because it was something just really easy to go back to and reminisce and understand a lot what was going on. I think when I had Nala, it was so much easier to just do these bump dates and catch up and let you guys know what was going on and I thank God for those moments because it really did help me understand better what to expect when I look back at those videos when it came to having her. Now the way I'm going to be explaining this is that I'm kind of going from five to six months um, since a lot of transitions happen in five months as well as six months. So let's talk about tummy time. Noelle definitely hated tummy time. She was definitely not a child that was okay with being on her stomach at all. She didn't even attempt to try. Only thing she did was scream on the top of her lungs to try to hold her head up until I removed her. But it seemed like the day she turned six months, she started being more okay with it. She started holding her head up a couple of minutes at a time, but that was a lot more than it was before. And then it was like the next week after she was okay with it, she started holding her head a little bit higher, but holding her head up is getting better day by day. I think definitely within the next month or so, she might have it. She might have it. So after that, during her five months, she started to roll from her stomach to her back. Lily, no, Lily. Ooh. But a week or two after that, she learned how to flip from her back to her stomach, but then forgot how to flip from her stomach back to her back. So that was kind of like. At that point, she started to sit. I thought I, I really thought I like hurt her gum. But I actually feel teeth, I think. She's trying to chew on my finger. This is actually a first, hold on. I think I feel teeth on the bottom. It's like not through, but it's like really hard right there. Why are you trying to nibble on my finger? Why you want to nibble on my finger? I guess she's teething. Yeah, <laughs> This is like one of the signs of teething. So well, that's the update for you right now. Luckily I just washed my hands because this will be really gross right now. But you can chew on my hand. I don't have no problem with that. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. What did I say? I don't even remember. But overall, clearly she doesn't roll when she's uh, in her sleep at night. Uh, but I think it's definitely coming close because um, she's starting. I feel a tooth coming. A tooth is coming. Baby. Yeah, let me see, baby. Oh, she's getting a tooth. I see it. Yeah, I see it, baby. Good job. I thought I was tripping. You can chew on my finger. You can chew on my finger. That's 
exciting. I'm supposed to remember what I was saying after that. That's really crazy. So I guess she's getting the tooth you can see it visibly. I can't show you guys while you're on the tripod, but just be on the lookout for that in a future video. But if she's anything like Nala was, she would get probably both of her bottom teeth at the same time. I had to like re-wipe and wash it down really quickly just to make sure. She threw up. Okay. It's fine. You lucky I'm more happy. All right, so I'm back. So that is an update. Just be on the lookout for future videos of me showing her ingrowing tooth. But yeah, I, I think I was just talking about flipping and now she learned how to roll front and back. She does it interchangeably. She just doesn't do it in her night's sleep yet. So I'm very happy about that. But I definitely think it's gonna happen very soon because now I can tell she's trying to push off and be on her side. So now you know my anxiety is creeping in. You are gonna try to kiss me or hurt me? Which one you wanna do? Yeah, I know my anxiety with the whole rolling thing at nighttime. So I guess I ain't gonna be getting no sleep at all. No sleepy sleeps. Yeah, she's clearly teething, you guys. <laughs> clearly teething. So the other thing that I want. If you know how I feel, why would you? This is gonna be one of those videos, huh? <laughs> So she's probably gonna have to come back in. Cause she's doing a lot. She doing a lot. So we are gonna take a intermission and I'll be right back while David gets her together and I'll kinda let her settle herself down. But she get a little fussy and then hopefully she can come back in. All right, so we are back. David is cleaning her up, letting her settle down for a little bit. There's gonna be a little spot right here. I am a mom. I thought about changing, but it really is not that deep. We're not really here for me. We are here for Noel, so just ignore it and hopefully it dry up in the meantime. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue on what's been going on with baby girl she is very alert she talks a lot that little noise that she was making before i took her out is like she's always talking all the time and between her and nala it, it's a lot because nala is in the screaming mode she's in the high pitch screeching type of mode she is 18 months so it is very interesting seeing them both interact she really loves to get nala's attention so if she can get her attention, it's usually the most time she is screaming at her loudest. But she is very observant. She's very quick. If she locks her eyes on something, you ain't going to be able to dodge her because she loves to follow things. She is extremely happy, giggly baby. She is laughing all the time, except for when she's hungry and tired. <sighs> Another thing right now is like the favorite things that she likes right now. So she is eating solids. She loves her food. She almost rather eat than to drink her milk, but she loves her milk, especially towards the nighttime and everything like that. Um, right now for solid, her favorite is corn, peas. Surprisingly, she does not like a bananas that much. She don't like applesauce that much. Nala didn't like applesauce either, so that don't surprise me too much. I did attempt my way into a slightly bit of baby lead weaning and giving her a little bit of the avocados, but it was just more of a mess than a help, and it was just kind of like she couldn't grip it. But I am interested in trying baby lead weaning, uh, but maybe a, a little bit further. I know the whole purpose of baby lead weaning is to kind of introduce them to food over baby food but but yeah definitely anything with corn it in it is her favorite as far as like toys right now her her floor mat is her favorite i don't really remember at this moment the exact name of the floor mat but i'll probably put a picture up or a video up here 
um, to show you guys that it's like her favorite thing. Even though she just kind of flips all over it and just get entangled. She is very interested in the cell phone and I don't know why. I think all babies probably are, but it, it's like she like has to have it. Like it don't matter if she just wakes up or just go to sleep. So I really need to invest in getting a, a Apple watch so that my phone don't always need to be in my hand. Usually when I get up in the morning, I try to be sneaky and put like a, a earpiece or headphone in my ear. I didn't actually buy a wireless headphones just because of this, but I'll put it in my ear just so I could probably listen to a cop podcast or something like that so I don't have to have my phone up but sometimes I just want to like check my Instagram or check something and it's like she tries to scroll with her little hand and it looks like this between her and Nala I can't have a phone as far as sleep and everything like that so Noelle is sleep trained we got her sleep trained last month at five months it took approximately two days to sleep train her we used the Ferber method training her in two days but I did do a slower method I didn't like jump it on her I definitely did like a gradual like a nap at a time using the methods and then that's including no night feeding she doesn't feed in the middle of the night and she usually goes to bed around 8 honestly 8 8 30 just because her sister and she doesn't wake up till about 8 8 30 so um yeah, I'm really happy. I d officially don't have no kids in my room. We got a little bit of our life back. As far as naps, she take two naps in the middle of the day, one at 11 and one at four. And they're usually in two hours. Every here and there is two and a half hours. So yeah, like I said in the last day or so, it's only been like an hour, but I think it's because she's teething, but it'll go back to normal. I'm pretty sure of it. Noelle is a big girl. She is in the 93rd percentile. So she is probably around 20 pounds now easily. Last time we checked, she was 19 pounds, 15 ounces. And she is 28 inches long. And I don't remember what her head is. But she is a tall girl. She was already wearing 9 to 12 month sizes and clothes. So she definitely is out. And it's weird because I think she had a big growth spur in like within a week and a half. So there was like an organization day that I did. I have it in another video where I organized her clothes, put all the big clothes in the closet that she shouldn't wear no time soon. And for some reason now, there's no clothes in the closet no more. She absolutely pretty much fits everything that I put away in the closet. That's how big she is. She is tall. She is over half the size of Nala. And Nala is 32 inches. And she's 18 months. And she's 28 inches in 6 months. So that should tell you how tall she is. I was about to say no teeth, but they're coming she does attempt to crawl now um she tried to do the little fireman pool where it looks a little like this um but sometimes she just rolls her way to what she really wants to get to but i think pretty soon she should be crawling she drinks about five ounces or so i started putting six ounces in a bottle and she doesn't really complete all the six ounces i know she's supposed to be drinking more but she doesn't i think four and a half is typically normal for her and then we do three feedings we were only doing two but it's like after so long she just rejects her bottle and i know she just wants food so we feed her three times a day with baby food and then her lunch and her nap times we'll do a four and a half ounce bottle of milk with oatmeal. I tend to like putting oatmeal in her milk versus rice. The formula she's on is the A&R by Infamil. I think it's just me added rice, ironically, but um, she seemed to like that better and her issue was that she would spit up all the time. 
but after putting her on that and the uh, added oatmeal she doesn't really spit up no more so also she probably drinks about four bottles a day maybe five tops so yeah <laughs> all right so I just wanted to grab her again because I don't really think I have a lot more to say. She does have another doctor's appointment coming up soon so I'm interested to find out how big you got. Yeah, I am. You are rejected. <coughs> um, yeah, I don't even know what I said because she spit up again. So. It's definitely, definitely time for her to go to bed. It's way past her bedtime. Uh, what, oh, one thing I did want to mention too is that she does wear size. She's going into size four diapers. Ain't that crazy? But yeah, I don't think there's much else to talk about. Oh, another one of her favorite toys is a bouncer. We started doing the whole bouncer thing very recently. So that has been exciting to see her. She likes jumping in the little bouncer jumper thing as well as being in the exit saucer. Uh, she hasn't figured out how to like turn around in the... Oh, she is canceled. What is wrong? Okay, I'm about to get up out of here. It's a lot happening. I don't know what's wrong with her, but she just all of a sudden is throwing up and I don't know what to do. This is mommyhood. This is what it is. I'm not gonna just block this out. But I definitely love you guys, but I just got, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a bath after this. I need to figure out her life, get her settled, get her down, get her to bed as well as my other child. Until next time, if you have any questions, please comment down below. If I forgot it, I'll probably put in another video of updates with her. Yeah, I'm nasty, gross. Bye-bye. <laughs>